next batch. Um, this one, I'm kind of excited to see how it's turned out. I've been wanting to try a few of these more experiments for a while. We're slowly getting them, they're on the list. So today, I'm gonna freeze dry salsa and brownie batter. So let me show you. I have, oh, it's nice and frozen. This is all pre-frozen. So this is salsa, a whole tray. Um, my, my local grocery store had the big jars, bottles, whatever they are, tub, whatever you wanna call it, of salsa on sale for like $4.50. And it's, it's pretty decent salsa, and salsa is kind of a cool thing to have on hand in an emergency. So I bought a bunch of them that were on clearance. I was able to fit one of those tubs per tray. So, um, so I've got four trays of the salsa. Oh, and it's all ready to go. And this tray is brownie batter. So my son wanted to make brownies, and I, could t I told him he can make brownies, in one on one condition if he doubled the batch and woo, if I can get him in if he doubled the batch and spread some out on a freeze dryer pan for me so I can try freeze drying them that's how you motivate your kids <laughs> so um so I it didn't dawn on me the salsa is pretty fragrant and uh brownies uh, we'll we'll see how these turn out I think it in the future I'm gonna plan this a little better and do like just salsa or just things that are related to that. And then I'm gonna do probably a batch of like sweeter things like cake batter, or brownie batter, or something like that all together. I'm really hoping the smells and flavors don't cross, but we'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and put pre-frozen. The valve is closed and we're good to go. We hit continue. We'll see how we go. We got our AC unit going in the garage in summer, so it's about 73 degrees here in the garage. Um, really, it shouldn't take that long, but this last batch, I was really surprised at like 40 something hours. So we'll see, we'll see how we do. Um, we do have our Premier pump, so we only have to change it about every 20 batches or so, 10 to 20 batches, um, and we're plenty good on that. Um, so we'll see how the brownie batter and salsa does. All right, 44 hours. Now, I'm not quite sure when this ended. I did check it before I went to bed. So I'm thinking it probably ended sometimes this, sometime this morning. I opened the valve, let's see. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cold. They, so it's been ended for a while. I, I did warming trays. So, yeah, it looks pretty. Well, nope, I see, I'm filling some ice crystals on top. Or oh, those sugar. It's hard to tell because it is pretty cold. So the salsa, let's see. Oh yeah, these are just sugar crystals. They're not ice crystals. Okay, we're fine. So it should be fine, but I am gonna warm the trays up. So that's the salsa, the four trays of salsa. Here's our brownie batter, I'm kind of curious. Oh, that's gonna look at that that's pretty hard um i'm hoping this i can just blend it up into a powder and then do it for like mug brownies or something but i'm gonna let those trays warm for a few minutes before i take it out because it's pretty cold then i'll take it out and um and we'll be good to go I'll be talking like this hi how's it going hey. i'll just dive into your chest uh, we can grab another box. We'll... Oh, you know what? Let me get a measuring cup with water. Nice. I just might put that in the video. You're <laughs> so... Oh, <coughs> do we have chips? I just, I just oh. threw away those other chips. What chips? What chips? Oh, prepared. Hey, there's a loose chicken in the backyard. <gasps> Let's do this. Are you gonna stand on that side or this side? No. Both. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we are going to uh, rehydrate some of this salsa. So what I did, this salsa, La Victoria, 
was on sale at my local grocery store for like, what was it, like $4 for one of these, like four pounds, three ounces, a lot of salsa. And I was like, hmm, I wonder how that would freeze dry. So we ended up getting four of them, four, anyhow, a lot of them, four or five. And we freeze dried them. I think this holds like one and a half for each container, something like that. So here's our little sample one. Whoa, where's the can? That's it's extremely cool. Yeah. All right, so let's get some water in that and we'll let that start to rehydrate. If we add too much water, it'll be watery salsa. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it, ooh, smell it. Mm. it smells good. Yeah, like, smell. you know, it, smell, it smells like really good salsa. Mm. Just smells like fresh salsa. Okay, I'm gonna zip it closed and we'll let it rehydrate. Are you gonna hold it? <laughs> yeah, okay, while that's rehydrating, <clears throat> we also did brown, oh, that's right, we did four trays of salsa and one tray of brownie batter. Hopefully the brownie batter doesn't taste like salsa. So the brownie batter, I just blended it up. Well, kind of, we just broke it up. I guess it is in chunks and it's in here. So we're gonna try making a mug brownie with it. And it probably is. So I'm gonna put a few spoonfuls in this mug. It smells good, huh? That's the thing with freeze dried. I know, it smells like smell? fresh. Okay. Do you want to eat any of the brownie batter raw? See what you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tastes like stale brownies. Stale? Without the, without the staleness. I was going to say, it shouldn't taste stale or anything. Okay. I'm just going to go for this. So, okay. Yeah, try your salsa. Like I'm going to mix this in and see. This isn't rehydrating as fast. But look at this. This just, it's not rehydrating as fast as the other stuff. Oh, you got the medium. No, that's no, mild. That's mild. Is it's got it a little zinger in it. Really? Maybe not. So, but look at this. Look at the brownie batter. It's not even like reconstituting. <laughs> This might be a fail. I don't know. Should we try just cooking it and see? Like it's it's like <laughs> it's like brownie soup. <laughs> brownie soup, ah! mom. Would you like some soup? Okay, let's put it in the microwave. Let's just see what it does. Maybe it, I just need to blend it so it's more like a powder because there are some pretty big chunks in there. But that's so weird. It just like it didn't dissolve and absorb. You want some salsa? Oh, tequito, some salsa. I guess. Ooh. This is actually a little for chips. But don't eat milk because I got them for a meal. It's a special thing. Mmm. Ooh, you're allowed to shake them up. So yeah, totally, if you're in a pen, cheese them. It's actually a good chip. It's like lava cake. It's uh, not a brownie. Yet. I wonder if I. <laughs> Look at it. It is kind of a brownie on the top. Can you see? Yeah. It is kind of a brownie on the top. Maybe I just added too much water. Should I add more? Add more of the brownie stuff? Because I just was eyeballing it. But it is now. It's like a hot fudge syrupy. Mad scientist. Right. <laughs> Not like we're going to Mexican for dinner either. Yeah. Oh, oh now you do it? Uh, really? You know. What? And there's still half a taquito there. You. Well, Not like I could dip it in here. But it's cool because you could personal like you can get those little cups, those little like self serve cups with lids. Put the powder on them and take them like backpacking and just add water and it's like individual salsa. Okay. But you could just you know put the water in when you're ready so you don't worry about spilling or spoiling. It doesn't have to be kept cold. Just a little like 
what are those called? Condiment pack? Yeah, condiment lid? cup or a sauce, sauce An individual, cup. yeah, sauce cup. Wrestling sauce cup. cup. Yeah, you could totally do that. That would be really good for this. I wonder if, like, I, really? I don't know. I don't know about the brownie mix. Not too successful so far. It's just cooked up like a thick pudding. I don't make a lot of mug cakes to know. What do you think? That's, I think it's hot. Yeah, it is. But don't stir it because because that'll ruin the. Oh. Little bit. Yeah, no, you're you got chocolate soup. Mm. I don't I don't know. It kind of. Maybe, is but attempting. I mean the bottom. Maybe I just need to cook it a little longer. Don't stir it. I oh. had a big chunk of brownie on there and you took it off. Actually, that's not bad. I mean, it's. it's but I mean, it's it doesn't. Up. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not cooking like a mug brownie. It's going to drip. It tastes like a brownie? It tastes like a brownie. What it is, is it's hot chocolate pudding. Yeah. But yeah, which, which I, I don't know if that's. We'll put it one more minute and let's see. The flavor's good, actually. That's. It's if my you're going for a mug mix. brownie, no. If right. you're going for brownie flavored pudding. Maybe we should yes. try some in the oven. Maybe. Because that's a little bit. Oh, but I don't I'm know just how much. Double and triple dipping in here, so. You can finish the whole thing. I just I don't know, know how much more. Maybe out. just kind of eyeball it and make it more like a browner brownie batter. Yeah, yeah, this is a win. Um, maybe if we do it like a brownie batter and then bake it rather than in the microwave. Because I don't know, how, I never do mug brownies. I don't know how long they're supposed to take. But anyhow, salsa, great idea. And so we just put it back in these containers. I did my little oxygen absorber, saran wrap, and this sucker on there. It's pretty full, so I, I think we're gonna be fine. As long as kids don't open the lid. That is a success. I like that. It's just a hotter hot fudge. Wow. Actually, that would be a really weight. Look at that. It's like, it's like pudding. It's like, this would be like chocolate lava cake. Oh. Yes. But it's not, I probably just put too much water in. But it is, it's like, it's like lava cake. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. No, it tastes good. It does taste like brownies. It, it's the texture that you're looking for. So I think this is going to take a little bit of trial and error mm -hmm. to get it to where reconstituting it, because the idea is there. It's awesome. But reconstituting it. Really, wiggle pants? Hold still, please. Um, reconstituting it is going to be the trick. Mm -hmm. So. I totally need to get you one of those white Einstein wigs that goes like this and a white lab coat. Hey, we have and... that curly wig. <laughs> no, that's like a Marilyn that was, Monroe wig, not the same. That's not Marilyn Monroe, it's like grandma. It's a okay. grandma wig. Grandma Monroe. Because, yeah, you are freeze drying some interesting things, but mm -hmm. trial and error. You make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. It is. It's like hot brownie batter pudding. It's pretty good. Ooh. Right? Wow. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's the, that's the consensus on these. Great for salsa. Eh. On the brownie, just I think it's gonna need some. Uh, it's gonna need a little bit more tweaking to reconstitute, to get it to reconstitute as brownies, and not brownie soup, not brownie pudding, but actually brownie brownies. And well, honestly, I've never tried this recipe as a brownie mug because I just don't make the brownie mugs. Right. When One thing I'm looking at is interesting, and maybe it is just condensation, but it almost looks like it's maintained the oils. In oh. chocolate too. Yeah. Which, Which is, is interesting. Yeah, because it doesn't look super oily in the powder. No. It could just be condensation on the spoon, but it's coming off clean. Mm -hmm. oh, 
Okay. Okay. Good. I like it. Yay! I like it a lot.